Hey, what's going on, guys? This is another Suffix says here, back with some more StarCraft gameplay with my boy Deeprof Gaming. How are you what's doing? What's going on, guys? I'm good. How are you, man? Yeah, I'm actually really good. So, in the past week, I guess, and I know I haven't played in StarCraft lately, there's a new commander called Zero Tool, and I have no idea which which, which one of us is gonna pick him. If if it's gonna be, it's okay. Uh, can, can we not both pick him? Is that not an option? Uh, no, I think it's not an option. It should be. It should be an option. That would be great, actually. Yeah, I think that. I think that would make sense to let two people play the same. Well, I mean, I can see both sides of it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Then... Maybe some commanders are just too broken, like double zero to not zero to or Stukov. I mean. Yeah, like... double Stukov would be a little crazy. <laughs> yeah, double Stukov would be just some rip rip computer. By the way. Oh yeah? <laughs> yeah, I think Rip Computer would be good. With Stukov. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, that's... Well, how about this? Um, I'll go with... If you want, you can go with Zeratul for this one, and I'll go with Alarak. Yeah, okay. I think that'd be that a good combo. Be good. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do a random mission, I guess, because I don't, I yeah. don't really wanna select any of these, because I played with all of them. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Plus, we get more experience doing the random mission anyway. Yeah. Okay. So after we do, let's just jump into a mission. Yeah, and then uh, maybe in the in the next one, we can switch, and you can grab one of the other Protoss commanders, and I will go with Zeratul. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can try him. Uh, try him. Oh yeah, no, I. I think I it's know, gonna be a lot, of, a lot of fun. <laughs> Because he doesn't have yeah. starting supply, he has starting supply of 100 IC. I'm reading it yep. right now. It's yeah, it looks, really like good. His, uh, looks like his Nexus auto makes drones and stuff, so. Hmm, okay. I mean, so that'll Zer be Zeratul as, uh, as a character is just way too fun. Yeah, he's one of my favorites, actually. Yeah, like he's been from StarCraft 1. Oh yeah, all the way through. Yeah, sadly in Legacy of Void he died, but yeah. what if, you know, this is now a Kubukua thing, what if that commander is alive and they're just starting really making these commanders like Vikus and Zeratul? Yeah, that could be kind of cool. I would like that a lot. Um, I think it would be kind of cool if they made like some of the, the Overmind. Is that what, the, is that what they were called in StarCraft 2? Uh, well, Overmind, or Overmind was in StarCraft Brood War, the main thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, It'd be kind of cool if they made some of those as, like, commanders that just had super yeah. powerful units, but not a whole lot of them. Yeah, but according to lore, uh, Overmind units are just way too powerful. <laughs> yeah, I think that'd be hard to balance, but yeah. it could be cool, could be cool. I really wish there was a commander of Aemon, who can... Yeah, the Aemon that, 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 you, that you can just... Play with uh, hybrids on your team. Yeah, that would be just really great. Oh wait, I think what? you'd run into like a similar issue, you know. Wait, what the fuck? What? Uh, so there are some ancient assimilators building for no fucking reason. Okay. Uh, this is actually really weird. It's not. It's not necessarily a bad thing, right? I mean, yeah, uh, I mean having those early is gonna not be bad broken if it's automated. And it's automated. Okay, this, is, this shit's broken. <laughs> I mean, you didn't have to build it. So that's something, I guess. You can just kinda cool. straight up rush your fucking passageways. Wow, that's actually really, really broken. Yeah, I don't think you need pylons or anything either. Yeah, yeah, it, it says it doesn't need it. It doesn't require power. There's a few buildings. What? He has only pa Zelnaga passageways, Core Forge, and Tesseract Cannon. Oh wow. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, I mean, these are simulators are just broken. You just g got uh, 100 and few. No, it's 200, I guess. Because we are automated, 200 minerals for free at the start of the game, so it's actually really broken. So I'm gonna... Okay, what's Core Forge do? 
Okay, so it research stuff, okay. See what kind of units we get. Warp and Void Templars, Zelnaga Zel Shield Guard, and Ambushers. Let's make some of those, I guess. Yeah. Wow, they, are, oh, they cost a lot. Wow. They cost a lot? Yeah. The Ambusher costs uh, 300 minerals and 50 gas. Oh, wow. Uh, they like, they auto blink away though, which I think is pretty cool. Wait, wait. We do? Wow, that's actually. The, that's the actually stalker really broken. model things? Yeah. Okay, so we have. In the top bar, uh, Tolbrus Tolbr Legion, called down Tolbrus and his legendary Legion of Zero Zealots to aid in the battle. This Legion cannot be directly controlled but can be a healthy. And Zoraya. Oh, Void Race. Okay, we're gonna need Void Race. Oh, you get Void Race? Yeah, yeah, for three Void Race. Oh. I'm Jelly. Void Race are so awesome. Hmm. So it's a stalker, but it's with a different skin, okay. How much damage do we do? Okay, we do a lot of damage. We do 33 against armor and 26 against normal. Oh wow, yeah, you're gonna chew right through those rocks, that's crazy. Yeah. What is game balance anyway, right? Yeah, I mean, it's still co-op, it's not PvP or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna be, be broken, in some regards. Oh! Oh wow, and you get a zero tool. Yep. <laughs> and he's like always about his prophecies. <laughs> he's like, prophecy yeah. always guides us. A celestial lock is being claimed by Amon. Okay, so there's some sort of a Zelnaga artifact somewhere. Prophetic vision. Yeah, they're like artifacts that you need to find or something. Okay, so there's there's an artifact nearby around here, I think. Uh, no. Amon's followers have taken control of the Celestial Oh, there he is. It is your objective to take it back before it overloads. And then what, do you have to like bring it back or does it automatically go in? Uh, what? Do you have to bring the artifact back or does it automatically no, no, like... No, it, it automatically goes in. Enemy terrors here. Oh, wow. I bring wisdom in times of chaos. I shall okay, so we actually really do me. just blink away automatically. That's actually really broken. You don't have to micro at all. And Zero Tool does a lot of damage. I was just about to say, holy crap! He just two shot at that Raven. Has been activated. We must endeavor yeah. to keep it that way. Okay, so you're gonna make some observers. I bring wisdom in times of. Chaos. Oh, did you say you're making observers? Yeah. Or do you want me to? Okay. Yeah, yeah I'm, just, I'm. I'm making one. I don't think we're gonna need more of them. I'm gonna clear out your uh, debbers. Can I help you a bit? Thank you. Yeah, man, he is so strong. Holy crap! Yeah. And there's an observer here. Oh, it's it's called Zelnaga Watcher. Okay. Respect the watchers. Okay, then. I was making my own units. So I just clear out here. Stop. Thank you. Amon's minions have taken a lock in his name. This cannot go unanswered. Calling. Glory to the Daylock. Warpin, Zalnaga, and Forcer who cost 750 minerals. Wow. That's a, that's a lot of minerals. 
Yeah, that's a lot. Amon has turned one of Alnar's constructs to his will. If you can, destroy it and free it from its ill fate. Hmm. The prophecy guides us. Your allies are in battle. My allegiance okay, I'm gonna is yours. Start playing it. Oh no 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 no! There's a lot of switches. Oh, oh, so that's what. what, what oh, this holy is. sh! Wow. Okay. Okay, this is pretty broken. <laughs> Not gonna lie, this is really broken. Gonna make some reinforcers. Of salvation. I am as strong as any army. We must not hesitate. Yeah, got a fair amount of uh, stuff over there. Yeah. Let's move them, I guess, here. Uh, I want to. I cannot actually control them, but I can give them orders. We have so that's fun. Uh, that's pretty cool. Commanders. Our foes do not comprehend our determination. I return to serve. It's a good thing that uh, the Zeratul doesn't require any uh, tag damage or armor I see your uh, yeah. upgrades. Like he does a lot of damage, basically. The Death Fleet has arrived. Okay, I need to find the other artifact. You address me. I sense that an artifact fragment is located near oh. this area. Found it. <laughs> Your allies are in battle. That was pretty easy to I find actually. Wisdom. My burdens weigh heavily. My allegiance is yours. You address me. Your allies are in battle. Amon's minions are contested. Where are my dudes? They will soon gain control of it. Uh. Oh, they're still all the way back here. Sorry about that. Okay. And, uh, on the other artifact. Collected the nice. Increases the duration of Zeratul's Legion and Avatar cooldown by 50. A okay. formidable advantage against our foes. I return to serve. Our foe has captured one of the locks. Reclaiming it is your main objective. Oh. Okay, Zeratul died. Enemies cannot deceive the eyes. Oh, you say Move it like this. This is actually really broken. But yeah, it's he's fun. It's, he's, he's actually fun. It's pretty decent. Fun is important. Yeah. I like how we kept the things simple. There's no need to micromanage a lot. Okay, I'm gonna make some void templars. The attempting to capture a celestial lock. Is there a full response? I am ready to stand beside my warriors again. Oh, he came back quick. Yeah, yeah, it, it took a minute. You have not enough minerals. You have not enough minerals. Amon's forces have taken control of the celestial lock. Your primary objective is to activate it. Okay, I think we gotta need to take a uh, bonus objective now. We will have saved Which one? Uh, this one. Bonus. Okay. I bring Let me... Oh, no, 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 no. I shall find a way. Ooh! That's a fun ability. Oh, did he just get dropped off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Glory to the I can use my teleporter thing. Honor command. 
but it's on pretty long cooldown. A celestial lock will soon be under enemy control. Salvation. Warpin Tesseract Cannons. Yes. Stop it! I, I wanna see what are you gonna do. I bring you need help? No, it's just units being annoying. Yeah. You pledge your power to me. Uh, uh Zerkul's uh, shadow cleave is a little bit I don't know weird I guess. And why do immortals attack here? That's actually beyond broken. Yeah. I have my guys follow our tool for a minute so I can get some stuff built. Okay. forces are moving to seize the celestial lock. I seek the path of salvation. Your allies are in our enemy. Okay, I'm gonna clear out bonus. You have destroyed the construct. Amon can no longer use it against us. Yet our foes have learned little. Hmm. I shall find a way. I'll call down your death feet. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, Zeratul is actually pretty squishy. I'm gonna lie. He just died again. He yeah, it looks like he is. He can't take a punch. Jesus Christ, these are so annoying. Is there a tool we're gonna respond soon? The time for thought is over. I must act. I shall find a way. Four of the five locks are under our control. Only one remains. Half of Olnar's energies have become volatile and unstable. The locks must be activated. Okay, this is, I think, this is going to be GG. Yeah, I think so, unless they snag another lock while we're... Yeah. Are contesting the lock. They will soon gain control of it. Empower me, minions! Oh, wait, this is already clear. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay! <laughs> <laughs> I was actually prepared for war. I was just supposed to say, I thought there was going to be a lot to fight here. I mean, they got guys coming, but a celestial lock has fallen into Amon's grasp. We must rest oh, control yep. of it before it's too late. That's exactly what I thought was going to happen. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna leave one unit. To finish. Your ally requires your presence to claim the objective. There we go. That is the fourth lock under our control. Once we activate the final one, Amon will be defeated. Okay. GG, I guess. It should be. Should be. 
I bring wisdom in times of chaos. The celestial lock will soon be under enemy control. Now we're gonna make it on time. Yeah. There's no way we're gonna take control of this lock in time. Yeah. Alright. Sweet. Such is the will of fate. Why are you blowing up my stuff? Yeah, why why the, does my <laughs> ships blow up your stuff? I didn't order them to do that. Yeah, they can't be directly controlled anyway, right? Yeah, we cannot. Weird. <laughs> wow. Maybe it was just for the lulls at the end of the mission. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it was a pretty easy mission. Now I'm gonna yeah, I think, I think we were playing that on normal. Uh, no, a... I think it's, it was on normal. Or was it hard? Oh, okay. They were just getting better at the game. <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> Alright, my dude. I gotta go. Yeah, thank you, man, for joining me. Uh, guys, I'm gonna leave his channel in the description. If, you're gonna, if you wanna go and subscribe him, go and do so. He's uploading some awesome content, content oh, I guess. You, I appreciate hey, thanks, that. I appreciate you being here. Alright man, we'll have to do this again sometime soon, and uh, I will talk to you a little later on. Yeah, okay.